What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blue. I'm here with none other than Chris Eubank Jr. What's going on with you? Feeling good, man. Feeling ready. Two days. Now, now, now you're making your debut here in the States, man. You know, um, boxing is perceived different in the States than it is in the UK. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like the seventh, eighth sport here in the States. You know, the UK is a much more perceived bigger sport. You know, uh, what is it about the States that makes it so big for you to want to come here and conquer the States? I'm 30 years old, man. I've, I've been I've been dreaming about coming over here since I was a kid, you know, since I started boxing at 13. So um, to finally be here after all this time, it's, it's, it's great. It's a great feeling, especially New York. Iconic. Right. This place is, uh, so many great champions, so many amazing fighters have come from here. So to be able to fight here, it's, uh, it's an honor. Right. And, um, I'm not going to let anybody down. I haven't come all this way to, uh, to to lose or to have a flat performance. I'm going to dominate this fight. Now, what made you decide to go back down to 160 from 68? I know you said there was a lot I never wanted of... to fight 168 in the first place. Mm -hmm. I'm not a 168 pounder. Right. Um, there was too many opportunities for me there at, at that weight. Too much money to be made, too many good fights to be made over there in England. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did what I had to do. I gave away the 20 pounds weight advantage on the night for the last three years. Um, now I'm in a position where there are a lot of great fights to be made at middleweight uh, over here in the States. So I'm coming back uh, down to my natural weight and uh, I'm taking over. Now, now, why Matt Carboff in your showcase fight here in the States? Most people will want to make sure it's a showcase fight, you know, to make sure they look great. Matt Carboff is a tough opponent. I know you believe in yourself, but why choose such a tough opponent, you know, for your, your debut here in the States? I'm not playing around. I'm not here to, to fight nobody's and, and, uh, and coast. I want the big fights. I want the big names. I want the toughest guys out here to let everybody know I'm the man. Now, we hear you calling out Jamal Charlo, right? What is it that you see in Jamal Charlo that makes you so confident that you can beat Jamal Charlo? I just know who I am as a fighter. Mm -hmm. And um, the things I see in him, they don't impress me. There's nothing there I couldn't have, or there's nothing that I haven't seen before. Uh, there's nothing that I haven't beaten before. So um, after Corbov, it's open season in any middleweight that has it gone. Now, do you feel the pressure to perform Big against Karboff, seeing that you on the same card, and a lot of people thought that Karboff won the fight with Jamal. Do you want to put on a better performance than Jamal had showing against Karboff? It's, it's nothing to do about. It's nothing to do with, with Jamal. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with Karboff. Um, there's pressure on me to perform each and every time I fight. I have a legacy to build and a legacy to uphold. Um, so yeah, pressure. That's that's been with me since day one. And it will continue to be with me until the day I retire. Uh, I'm always looking to go out there and put on the best performance I can to, uh, to, to stop my guy. I don't coast. I don't do the bare minimum. Um, I go out there and I perform for the fans. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do in two days' time. Now, let's say you can't land a Jamal fight as seeing though you victorious in this fight. Uh, Demetrius Andre is another guy that has, has a belt, but he's with his own. Is it possible that you'll be able to go to the zone and make that fight happen? I don't know. I'll smoke him over. Okay, what about the Saul Canelo Alvarez? Because he's also... Absolutely. If he comes back down to middleweight, that's the man I want to fight. Because I believe that my style is, is going to be all types of wrong for this guy. Mm -hmm. And he is, I guess, the poster boy of boxing at the moment. Uh, he is the big name. So uh, that's the guy I want to fight. What can, the, what can the fans expect Saturday night? They can expect a show like they have never seen before from me. Um, and this is an extremely personal and important fight for me coming out here and fighting in the U.S. for the first time. So I've trained like an animal, and uh, it's going to show on the night. Now, can I get your thoughts on another big fight Saturday night? Your countryman, Anthony Joshua, have a highly anticipated rematch. He's going to do his thing, man. You know, Ruiz, great fighter. But um, my boy, Anthony, he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any choice. He has to go in there, he has to do what he was supposed to do in the first fight. Uh, he definitely is under underestimated him this time, and I think he's going to do the job. Thank you, thank you, Chris. Okay.